Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in our vanilla hard mode snowing city with no mods. Yes, that is right. I've gone insane. I'm playing with no mods and I'm glad you've been enjoying the series so far. So today we're going to pick from one of the two names which were the top most voted uh, names from episode one. Uh, one of them was based on the name of a uh, town in the Alps, I think it was, Intilagan. Or oh, it's Interlagen, but they slightly changed it with the suggestion to Intilagen. Uh, that name suggestion was from Adam Ziss. Um, and the other name suggestion was from Superior Salmon, which was Antarctica. But just changed it slightly to An Antarctica. So you can sort of say it the same, Antarctica. I quite like that one. But we're going to see. I put them both on a poll. So everybody's been voting on today. Uh, or a couple of days ago that poll was up. And uh, yeah, I will pick one of those at the end of the episode. So, uh, as always, uh, you've been giving me lots of comments and suggestions. And I've just changed a couple of things which are helping the city out. And then we're going to get to more expansion, probably on this side of the river over here. We shall see. So one of the suggestions was, if I zoom in over here, was to change these paths. So I had the cycling paths in here, which pedestrians will only cycle on. Whereas I've switched them all out for the normal walking path because they will walk and cycle. There we go. Perfect example. People on their bike. So I've done that to increase the walkability of our city. And then what I will do is I will upgrade certain roads when we unlock the uh, bike. Uh, roads with bikes are available on them, which is not until... Oh, we've got some other roads. Oh, we've unlocked some stuff. Ah, oh, asymmetrical three-lane roads. Fantastic. We seem to have unlocked a lot of roads. Did I miss something? We've hit 4,000. Oh, of course, we hit 4,400. And we unlocked all of this stuff last time, didn't we? Including bicycle roads, two-lane roads with bicycles. Oh, my goodness me. So much stuff in here. Wow. Yes, yeah, so maybe we can start moving over to... I want to get green power in the city as well. So anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. So we changed all that. Um, also, we have now hit uh, two stars in our Cypress Timber Processing. I've not seen any names for that yet because that episode hasn't gone out. So we will hold back from renaming this. Um, but yeah, what have we unlocked? So let's just put on the screen because we unlocked it uh, while I was not recording. There we go. So we've unlocked the biomass pellet plant, the furniture factory, sawdust storage, the forest workers barracks and the small tree sapling greenhouse uh, which is quite cool i like that and i am wondering whether as we are in a nice snowy area oh man we need to fix this thing here um we're in a nice snowy area whether we can switch to greenhouses now i don't think these have that option no they don't i don't think i'm going to just mass switch stuff out because it's going to cost us so much money but definitely working our way up to the... So the biomedical plant. So this one makes uh, plain timber. Uh, this one makes paper. And I believe both of those are needed in our factory. Is this the one here? Yeah, paper and timber. So could we afford to pop that in? What is that going to cost us? 25000 That's going to take half of our money. Do you know what? I think we will just pop that in over here and i'm just wondering whether let's just have a quick look at our resources yes yeah, so there's no farming resources around here i feel like i want that on its own little road sort of set back a little bit um we've got an industry road that's yeah here we go and um, also i had lots of comments about maybe leaving the day night cycle on uh, a little bit just to give people's eyeballs a rest which is fine so you're going up the right hand side so we'll do that for this episode we'll see how it goes uh, and then you can let me know uh, what you think about that so slope too steep slope too steep what's going on with the land oh yeah that slope is quite steep okay we won't use anarchy because we don't have it we'll do a little bit of terraforming just here let's pop that up i sort of want it here so if we could just smooth that a little bit, I think we're going to have to sort of go like this. I'm wondering whether actually we could just redo this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to try and just smooth a section out here where this is going to go. And it's going to have a bit of a bank behind it. Oh, wow. This is really bad, isn't it? Okay. 
Right, we're going to try this one. So right click there, then left click and bring that down. Yes, that's much better. And then if we use this one, we should be able to smooth this out reasonably well. Okay, let's see how this goes. Then we'll grab our normal road. And that's going to come out. Let's put on our guidelines to there. Oh, that was not the road we used, was it? Okay, well, let's go back to this one. And I quite like this one. Lots of people have pointed out that the snow doesn't seem to settle on these roads. Not entirely sure if that's true, but uh, we'll see. And then we'll grab this one. And I wanted that to go up there. And then sort of, how big is this thing? Let's just take a look. So that's going to end up like up there somewhere. So here would be good for that to come in like there. Yeah, and then we just sort of join those together like that. That is quite a dip in the middle, isn't it? Yep. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to level this bit out. So we're going to grab that there and we're going to bring that across to there like that. And then we can smooth that bit out and that should be a little bit straighter, a little bit flatter. It probably is because of this road here as well. Okay, let's do that again. So we'll grab that height there. Gonna level this out, and then we know it's coming in here. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Well, I tell you what, let's do this instead. Let's bring that out to there. So that should be fine, and then we're gonna curve this like that, and then that'll go down that slope. Perfect. There we go. That'll be okay. And then I want that. I want that that side. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind a bit of a slope like that. Let's keep things going. A factory big enough to produce biomass pellets. Indeed. And that's going to produce paper for us. And I am going to pop a little storage thing here. So now we've got access to the small warehouses, medium warehouses. I don't think you're going to want paper stored outside. Uh, so we'll do that. You're going to need some water. So let's get you hooked up there. There we go. And I feel like that one's going to come down there. That's fine. Oh, man, it's very dark. Yeah, that's fine. We're getting trash problems as well. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are just going to, while we're building, let's slow that down. There we go. While we're building, we need to see what we're doing. So these guys are going to be waiting for our raw forestry products. By the way, the only mods I'm using, in case you suddenly you'll start freaking out, are ones just to do with the visuals. So just to make the game look better. So we've got plenty stored over here. So they'll put a call out. And then we want this set to... I'm going to leave it on balanced uh, with paper. That's what it was, wasn't it? So we've got paper over there. We've got plain timber over here, which has been stored here which is on empty we're going to put that on balance so we can keep some in stock and then our factory i mean this is our farming area up this road here but we're slowly and surely encroaching on it um where could we unlock that could also give us more access to farming instead i mean i was thinking of unlocking more square sort of heading this way and we've got a lot of farming down here so I'm wondering whether, if this ends up being more forestry than anything else, that's fine, because here it can be farming. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's maybe keep this. Uh, so let's just look at our zones. So this one here is just going to overtake this. I'll leave it up there just so we know what it was. Uh, let's just zippity-doo that round a bit. Yeah, I don't think the factory needs to be in the zone. But we're just, you know, just for my own peace of mind so I know what's going on. That's going to cost us 27000 Oh, and that's going to need to fit the other way. Okay, so we're going to get this one here. I'm hoping this is going to fit, like, along here. I'm going to go, like... I don't think that's going to fit along there, you know. I'm going to squeeze it up here as much as possible. And I want it in there. And I don't think it's going to do it. Uh, let's just take a quick look at this. By the way, the way I got this to upgrade, and I'd forgot about this little trick before. So I didn't quite have enough space for the amount of workers we needed. I think it needed 250. And we had like... Or it was no, 150 and I had two, uh, 146. Something like that. But I needed more people to come over. So what I did is I literally just put down another small tree plantation, which gave us the extra workspaces. But I think it immediately, just like that, adds a few workers with no sort of waiting around for people to come and join or anything like that. It just literally added more workers. So 
yeah, I was pleased about that. And it just, that's why it upgraded off camera. So I'm just going to fill in a little bit of this space here. I like sort of making these look less like they're, I know they're supposed to be planted in straight lines because they're farming them, but I prefer to sort of make it look like that. Right. While we're talking about all of that, we have got a problem with our trash. So <laughs> I know what's going on here and I'm trying to fix it. So if we have a look at our trash, um, landfill use is 91%. So this is emptying out. And when this is emptying out into my now two recycling centers, it just keeps filling these up. So that is nearly at 200,000. That is nearly at 200,000. Um, which means these aren't going out and collecting the trash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop emptying that. And when it gets filled up, I'm just going to leave it and not do anything with it. Um, and it will have to just, yeah, it's tough. But it'll have to just <laughs> do it. So this can now start emptying this stuff out, which means it will have more trucks available to go and deal with all of the trash. And then people will stop blimmin' moving out of the city which is very annoying. Right, we now have enough money, I think. Oh, we're almost at enough money for the factory. So, oh, there it is. We have got enough. 27,500. You just jumped up. So, let's see. Oh, darn it. Darn it. So, if I angle that road, I might be able to get this to fit in. Let's see what I can do. Oh, look. I've angled the road just correctly. It's going to take out some of those trees. And that means we're going to have to redraw this little road down here, which is fine. That nestles right up against the back there. I like that. Um, okay, so let's go back to this one. That means that could come straight across here. And then we just need to redraw this little bit out here, which is probably going to be changing anyway, like we've said. Uh, things are happening. Let's bring that one down there. Nope, that one doesn't kick in. All right, we'll go this way. Do, 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 do. We'll go there. Then we'll go... There it is. I knew I'd find it. We'll go there. Excellent. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that was as straight as I'd like it to be. Just as I moved away, I saw it out of the corner of my eyeball, and I thought, yeah, that's better. I can't leave it like that. There we go. Excellent. Um, you need some water. Really? You're so close to uh, our water. So I'm going to run that down there, connect that to there, and then that's going to start heading up over here. There we go. Spot on. So you're getting the plain timber and the paper, which will be coming over to you. And you'll be making the furniture. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to give them somewhere to plot the furniture. No, I'm not. Because we have absolutely no money at all. Um, I'm going to try and put that on 150%. But that's going to give us... Oh, yeah, man. That is going to give us a ton more money, which is exactly what we want. They're going to be coming in here. So let's just keep an eye on these guys coming in and out at Wood Vision, making us all the moolah. Oh, 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 oh. I've just seen our first load go out. Here it is. Look, this guy here. Our delivery van, furniture factory, delivering unique products to M&H clothing. Oh, let's follow this guy. So he's taking our furniture. Oh, look at our city. It is, I love it in the snow. It just looks fantastic. Oh, and there we go. Delivering to <laughs> the Burnt Bean, Burnt Bean Coffee place, which is apparently a factory workshop. Uh, what did I say? Factory? Whatever it was. I can't. M&H something or other, wasn't it? Oh, well, there we go. Anyway, so that's going to be making us, excuse me, that's going to be making us some nice amount of money. So let's have a look how we're doing. Oh, look at that. 7,000 a week. We're already up to 20,000. We know that that is going to sort of bounce up and down because of the way the DLC, the industry DLC works. But yeah, that is really good. Excellent. What's that saying on there? 3,600 a week. Workplace is 46. Yeah, really pleased with that. Cool. So, now, we have got... How's the trash going? I, look, the trash is much, much better now. Um, this one here, it's still sort of bobbing around at the top, near the 200,000, but the coverage... Let's have a look. Yeah, look, much better, much better. Good, good, good. You over here, you're going to go, because no one's happy with you. Right, okay, so, we want to expand over here. Now, we do have a lot of need for more industry... Um, so what I'm thinking over here, just sort of in amongst this. So we've got our industry zone over the top. I'm just going to put a normal district 
uh, over here as well. Make sure we get uh, both sides of the road. There we go. And then what I would like to do is set that also as uh, forestry, which is here, that one. And then we can put some industry sort of dotted around in here like that. Maybe over here, maybe even up against here. Let's just check this one. So this was set for the same. So pollution, still pollution, but I'm pretty much convinced that that is to do with the coal power plants. Uh, which we'll replace at some point. Uh, noise, I still think, is going to be a thing. Yeah, so we don't want to get too close to these guys. So they're going to go. And I'm thinking maybe we do need some shops. We'll pop some shops sort of on this corner here. Just a few small ones. But hopefully, if we just fill in a bit of this. How far did that zone go? Yeah, sort of up to there. That's probably going to be enough. There we go. They'll start filling in. How's our water pipes? Let's give them some water. We've already got electricity over here. And then we should get some forestry type buildings here. What are we getting? Lumber mill, original wood products. Yeah, pellet fuels. That's what we want. Filling up this little area here. Taking our industry demand down which will increase our other demands and i just think that looks really nice when you've got like these sort of piles of wood around the place and stuff like that what's that one there fly guys excellent 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 let's speed things up a bit by the way you may have noticed my stuttering has gone um which i was very annoyed about getting it just a vanilla game with no mods at all. I don't know what it was that fixed it. Um, I updated my AMD drivers for my uh, motherboard, which may have been that, but I also changed my power plan from the AMD Ryzen power plan just to the standard Windows power plan. And I'm thinking one of those has solved the problem. So yeah, either way, I'm happy. Still got some demand there. I'm gonna just keep this going up here. I'm hoping this isn't going to cause a load of traffic like here. And see, even though we've got demand, some of these are saying not enough workers. Although that might be... It needs well-educated workers. So let's check out our education. So elementary school, plenty of capacity. Uh, high school is a problem. Yeah, so we've got... We're getting near to the capacity of that. We could do with another high school over here. And we have the money. Um, we've got this large high school that I rarely use, and I quite like the building. And I'm wondering whether we could just have that off of this road here. I want it off the side road. Let's go there. Yeah, I want to sort of mix it up a bit. We'll use that one there, that's good. And then, can we just be... Yeah, people are going to start upgrading now, which is good. Keep your eye open for that. There we go. And the lack of power. Right, let's just slow down a minute. Let's just take a look at the power situation. So availability is down. What is... Our, oh, by the way, I paid back this other loan as well. I did that off camera. Uh, we're going to put these up to 12 because they could go a bit higher. Boink, there we go. Budget is maxed out. Okay. Well, now we're starting to get more money. We can start looking at some of the other options we've got over here. And as we said, we've got, oh, flipping at 81,000. Wow. Oh, we've got coal and oil still. Flipping egg. Well, I'll tell you what, I could just take another loan as we've took that other one. So 60, so I'll take 100. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to pop one of these in. And we're going to try and get everything to green as much as possible. That's going to give us another 80. And I want that over here somewhere. Um, what are our coal power plants giving us at the moment? 50. Okay. That's fine. So if we replace one of those, that is a good thing to do. If we could pop that in there, that would be good. Although we can't move this, can we? Oh, darn it. Bad planning, Biffa. Bad planning. Can't go up there. Could we squeeze it in there? I don't think we could. Oh, we could actually. If we... What's that hitting against? A road. We could pop that in there. We just have to move the power cable. Yeah, I think we're just going to drop this in there. There we go. New geothermal power plant. Um, The noise... 
the pollution, well, there isn't any, is there, for this one. I'm just worried about the noise. What does that say? 50. Yeah. So that's going to spread out a little bit over here. But, yeah, I am going to repurpose. When we've got money and we're not worried about money, I'm going to repurpose this area altogether. So at the minute, it's just literally chuck it in. It will do. Let's save some money here with our budget. So if we can get that down a bit, that would be good. What's that going to drop us down to? Let's go down to 100. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Water, we could do a little bit more because we're going to do some more expanding. So across the river... Um, we can actually unlock... Oh, let's check our traffic, by the way. 92%, cool. We could unlock another square. And at one point, I'd want to get down here to connect this road that comes through, through to here. It's almost like a cut through. And hopefully, traffic will still go around the outside. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't think we actually need another square at the moment. Let's just fill in some of this down here. So, yeah, I saw everybody laughing at me before when I put in our tennis court over here with our other high school. Where is it over here? <laughs> People saying, playing tennis in the snow. But they are, look. They're loving it. They are loving it. It's a heated tennis court. So you've got absolutely nothing to worry about apart from the snow that is apparently right in the middle there. But what we're going to do with this one over here is instead we're going to pop in... Uh, this, which is the ice hockey rink. That's what these people are going to be playing. There we go, which just means perhaps I'm going to move this park here uh, over to... Oh, there's a path through there. Can we squeeze it in here off the main road? I don't want to mess up there. Let's go there. That'll do. There we go. Excellent. Our little dog park. Happy, sad. Everyone's like that. Okay, let's just detail around this school. There we go. I think that looks nice. Nice little area there. And they're already enjoying their rink, which is fantastic. Where are you walking across there? You haven't even got any skates on. Come on now. They're in the middle of a... What are you doing? They're in the middle of a game. Oh, that feels like an auto save. Quick sip of tea. Ah, lovely. Excellent. That's good. So that's, that's looking fine over there. And that is increasing our coverage for the schools. And everybody is upgrading and loving it. Cool, I just feel like we need some more shops just down the middle of this little section here. Oh, do you have no water? There we go. Um, because this main road feels a little bit bare. So let's add some of these in along here. There we go. And we'll do the same this side. Excellent. What's that building there? That's a medical clinic. So I'm looking at our transportation options that we've got. I mean, traffic is good. It's at 91%. We, because we've got this little road coming in at the top here, um, this is sort of building up with traffic. But as we said, that's not always going to stay like that. So I'm not too worried about that. But we could run a tram up and down this road. But I just think we need to expand this more first before we start spending that sort of money. Because we're going to need money to work on the areas that we've got here. So um let's just have a look i'm thinking of buying this square here so let me just purchase that and then we can also purchase this one here as well which gives us then access to the other side so that's 10 grand gone but now money is flying in which is fantastic and then what i'm thinking here is do we dip this road under the railway and leave the railway flat do we go over the top and i'm thinking we might just go over the top or we could let's just have a look over here if we just dip this down into a trench and then we this row could go straight over the top yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna take this out here back a reasonable amount and we're just gonna sort of drop that down and see how that goes now normally again i would have just done that with the move it mod as we all know but uh yeah we can't do that so i'm not quite sure uh, am I going the right direction? Am I going down or up? Yes, I'm going down. How low we're going to need to go. And... So 
So if we did something like that, that is seriously nowhere near deep enough, is it? No, okay, let's... I'm going to concentrate on just this little bit here. And if we go down, I just want to see how low we have to go to be able to get the road to go over the top with a rail underneath. Oh, and you know what? We haven't even unlocked our train. We need 9,000 people to unlock that. So I just can't do any of this anyway. So there we go. Uh, I've unlocked another achievement. The waters of our lives. Not quite sure what that one does. So I tell you what, we just ignore that problem for now. Um, until we've got... Um, yeah. <laughs> until we can do something about it. So I'm going to sort of just plan this road a bit. As if it was already there. So we're going to go like that. And then we've got some space to either put a bridge in if we need to. Or to, yeah, do what we were doing. Lower that down. So here this is going to change. I'm going to upgrade that. Uh, that can go in and out there. Hopefully that will work okay. And then, uh, yeah, that's all on. I want to bring this and connect it over to there. I'm just thinking if we go out... Uh, let's try this one. That's better. If we go out like that and go across. Okay, you're going to go because you're not being very helpful at all. Let's try that again. If we go out by 10 and out by 10. So we get a nice 90 degree there. Then we can come straight along there. Maybe to here. And then we can just line up with this. Okay, road guidelines. I need you. Okay, we'll go this way. No, need to make it a bit longer. It's more like it. Yeah, you see, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do it. Need to go there and there. There we go. That is almost not quite right. There we go. Much better. Excellent. So now we've got that connection all the way through from one side to the other, and we're going to see how that goes. Uh, whether that needs managing or not, hopefully it's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, now we can start working on this area here. And yeah, darn it, we've got this rail. It's going to like block up everything we're doing, isn't it? But yeah, I think we, maybe we'll just have to work with that. Oh, I feel like I'm being a bit of a muppet here, but I'm going by the price. 1,100 for the length there. 1,100 for the length there. Same there. Same there. And then that doesn't go across straight here. Look, they don't meet properly. But that's at a right angle. That's at, What am I doing wrong here? Look, it just uh, something. something's not right. Something is not right. Yeah, I don't know. I deleted the railway line and now I'm putting all this in again. And it is... Yeah, it doesn't quite seem to... Look. Why is it doing that? So that is right now, but it's... Even though it's all at right angles, we're not getting some... Is it not flat? Definitely something weird's going on here. I know this bit's not flat. That's because I messed around with it. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like I'm discovering vanilla oddities here so this one here doesn't quite line up right if i delete that and then draw it in it's okay and i'm guessing i could do the same here now that's okay we've got this little gap in the middle but i'm not too worried about that unless there's unless i can do that as well if i go this way how about if i go this way how about if i go this way yeah uh okay we've got the little gaps it's fine but yeah, I don't know what that is. That is very, very weird. Okay, well, let's continue. Okay, so I'm building this block out here, and it's just getting too blocky for my liking. I don't mind, like, before, it was just this block here, because then you've got the curvy roads that sort of follow the river, and it adds all that sort of extra nicety to it. But, yeah, this is getting too blocky. So what I'm going to do, and unfortunately, one of the downsides to hard mode is... Um, you get less uh, refunds <laughs> when you delete stuff. So all this road placing and things is costing me money. I'm going to go out to there. So it's the last straight piece before it curves. So we're going to do the same here. So I'm just trying to sort of look for interesting shapes. That, that sort of adds an interesting corner shape there. And I'm wondering whether we could use that to then cut into this. So if that went across here... 
Hmm, what could we do? I'm just wondering, if that went like straight across, where would that end up? Okay, so it would end up hitting a road there, which would then mean our little blocks are now not as blocky as they were before. Can I straighten that one out? Yeah, there we go. So that changes that shape, doesn't it? I don't mind that. And then actually this one here could just carry on through, could it? Oh, not quite. Not quite. It's going to want to bend to get into there. So maybe it stops there. Yeah. What about that? So that just sort of changed it up a bit. And now we've got some different shapes that we can play with. Mm, yeah, maybe a park or something in there would be nice off of the main road in the middle of this build up. Yeah, why not? Let's mark that down as a park. So we have that available to us. Yep, yeah, excellent. There we go, Manor Garden. Cool. So then if we continue this road down here, that sort of sets this up as another block over here. I'm going to just see if I could flatten this out. Oh, I thought I'd flattened all this out already. Let's just take that height there and get rid of that. We'll, we'll do something with that train line when we get access to train lines. Very cool. So then we've got this block here, which is absolutely huge. So we want to do something with that. Um, and I'm wondering whether we could come out at this angle instead. That is going to be entirely different from what we've got before. So actually, if we just still followed those out like that, and then we could just break up the block sizes here. So before we were going out, let's have a look. Uh, 1,100. So we could still do that. That'd be here, wouldn't it? So if we go like that. There we go. That makes, from, makes for some interesting block sizes. Excellent. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Right, let's add some water for these lovely folks. There we go, that's all covered. Uh, then, of course, services. Now, one of the services that we haven't been using because it is so expensive, or two of them, I should say, is the elder care and the child health care centre. Now we've got more money. I want to try and squeeze these in down here as close as possible to this end because it's going to cover a little bit over here. And, yeah, what is that building there? Is that just a... It's just a shop. Okay, you can go. So I'm thinking... They both orient the same way. They do. So let's put the... Uh, that's the elder care right up against there. And then the child health care centre. Would that just sort of fit in there? No. What about this side? Yes. So we're going to have that right opposite there. And as we can see, the coverage of that is all of our new area, pretty much. Um, and it's just touching over there. We may add some over there as we can afford it but we'll see how we go right so then we just need healthcare coverage um so the coverage on these apparently is less than it was as well so i don't know whether that is like the area of effect that you see around it you know the roads that it covers but yeah you need more services to get people to uh, upgrade their houses so i'm going to use a couple of these sort of small little end pieces here so we're going to go there oh man running out of money already emergency services fire coverage oh wow i've only got one fire place all the way over there so let's pop that one off the side road there uh police i want to use this one over here I've got one of those as well so i'm going to just take that little spot there and then schools and by the time i put all of this in we're going to spend so much money Elementary school capacity. See, now this is the thing. Capacity is fine. But we know that we still need the coverage to get people to upgrade their houses. So, um, I'm going to take that one. I want one that's going to cover as much of this sort of area as possible and down here. Without going too far away. Yeah, I think maybe that middle one there. And then the high school again. Oh, we've got that high school right there, haven't we? So that's fine. And as we said, transportation we will come back to. Okay, cool, good. So, uh, for zoning, what have we got down here? We've got Prospect Heights, which I think Prospect Heights is actually going to come up to and include that and anything else that gets built along there. And it feels like that this road where the school is would be a good sort of demarcation line for that. 
So that one's going to go there. And then everything else, oh, here we go, is going to be a new zone. So let me just get this zone drawn in. Okay, there we go. So now we've got Cedar Hills Manor Gardens. So some names for that. I think we'll call the gardens whatever the name our district ends up being. So whereas in Prospect Hills, we added the organic and local produce and self-sufficient buildings. And I think we'll keep that going all along the river there. For this section, we won't. We'll just go for the normal buildings. And yeah, I think we're just going to fill in as much of this. Maybe we're going to do it sort of a, a block at a time. And just see how things go. So we go a couple of blocks like that. Yeah, and start seeing how this fills in. And look at the snow filling up. Yikes, our roads there. Mm, nice. Hopefully they can keep on top of that as well. Right, a little bit slow on the people moving in. So I'll tell you what, let's just take a look at our park coverage in here. Yeah, park coverage, pretty low. What have we got? Snow park related. Skating rink would be fantastic, I think, in our park. I'm just wondering, actually, if we actually get our little park set up in here, I think that will help as well. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so we get our park main gate. Um, if I go like yeah if i pop that right in the corner oh there we go excellent thank you can i run a fence down there oh it hooks into the side there so i can do that can't i so let's run this <laughs> and for some reason not past there i can't so that road is going to stop me that is weird what if i delete that road and then run it along yeah so i can do that that is very strange Oh, and the same over here. Can't run it along here. Unless I... There we go. Take off the, the grid and everything and just do it myself. That's probably the best idea. And actually at the top here, a park side gate would be fantastic. So let's add that in as well. Oh man, I really want the move it mod. I really want the move it mod. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. Right, let's get some light on the matter. Okay, now we can see what we're doing. Um, I'm just wondering whether... So I want to try and keep things straight as I can. Because, yeah, like that. Because we're going to be adding some buildings off of here. And then what we could do is maybe take a little curly... Curly sort of building... Uh, curly sort of path that way. Um, and then one here, just sort of like that. And then we can build around that, can't we? So what options do we have? We have a park plaza. Uh, that could go, I think, there. would be fine. And do you know what? Actually, I'm going to join this path up to that path. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So we've got a park plaza. Uh, we have a park cafe. If you're going to be in a cafe here, where would you want to look towards? I think, to be honest, the fact that you're in the park is probably going to be enough for you. We'll go there. Uh, some restrooms that can go over here next to there. And I think oh, we've got an info booth. We might as well pop that down right by the entrance where you come in. That'll be nice and close. Yeah, there we go. It's got no electricity yet, but we can work on that. So let us chuck in. Oh, some nice rocks and trees. Excellent. Now, this is going to be interesting because, again, we don't have the anarchy mod. So all of these just look white. It's a shame they don't give them some extra bit of colour so they stand out. Because it almost seems pointless to put them in. I suppose if we do like a big one like that, just doing a bit of testing. See, if I pop that on there, it's going to disappear, isn't it? Yeah, so if I put the rocks down first and then do this, we can sort of do that around it, can't we? Yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Let's see if we can get one of the larger rocks in here like in this area i was thinking or maybe if we remove that path there what have we got that's like an interesting rock formation isn't it maybe something like that down here and then we'll pop some trees around it as well well let's just see what my imagination comes up with Here 
Who needs prop line tool? Me, I'd love prop line tool right now. There we go. I think that will do for now. Just a little slice through there, which we can work on a little bit more as well as we get more stuff unlocked. That'll be good. You know what I've forgotten to do over here is put all of my paths in, and I should do that as soon as I make my blocks. Darn it. Need to remember that. And as we said, we are going for the pavement path. So let me just pop all of these in. Sorry, houses that have just moved in. It's your mayor's fault. He apologises profusely. Hey, there we go. Big town. 6,500. We can now afford another square. And there's a whole load of stuff we can add, including campuses, which is good. I like those. IT clusters, which means office zone. That is going to be really helpful. We're trying to keep the pollution down in our lovely snowy city. University, that's going to need a lot of money. And incineration plants. I think that's going to help us with our trash problem to empty out that other thing we've got and then just remove it completely from our city. And then the incineration plant will probably end up going as well. So we shall see how things go. But this is what we've got so far. We've expanded all the way out to here and things are going well. Okay, so I think things are going really well with our city. Uh, there's a couple of little tweaks I want to do. Now, this area here, um, looking to you guys and girls for some suggestions. We do have a lot of unique buildings available to us. What do you think would be good in here? Uh, we do actually have the winter unique buildings. We've got a spa hotel. But I'm thinking perhaps that could be maybe on one of these little islands or something like that would be a nicer place. Um, I was thinking of adding on here maybe the academic library. Uh, it won't fit off of this road. It'll have to come off the side there. But we could make it work and make that a little beautiful area. Um, with this gardens here as well. How much is that to place? 100,000. Oh my giddy aunt. We've got 250,000. Money is going up. But yeah, I was thinking of something like that. But let me know in the comments what you think about that little spot there. Um, I would like to just do some work on this road. Um, so if we go into here and we're going to adjust roads. So let's pick this road here. So that is a main road and it goes all the way down to the end. That's good. And then what I would like to do is make that a priority road. Uh, but then we just need to go back to our junctions and change that. Yeah, so that's a stop there. Then all the ones coming onto it are going to have stop signs, but no traffic lights. All the way down, all the way down. But apart from here. Now that is weird. Why didn't it do that? Oh, okay. I can just take these away. Yeah, there we go. So we don't need any of these traffic lights all the way along here. There we go. Excellent. Oh, I just having a thought there. Oh, we're running out of water. Darn it. Um, so that's a stop sign coming up there. You're a stop sign. You're a stop sign. To be honest, there's probably hardly any traffic coming down here, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. There we go. So we can get this working properly. Very good. And people are using this to come in now, which is fantastic. That is what we wanted, didn't we? To spread the traffic out. What are we at? Oh, running out of water. That's what we're at. 93%, which is brilliant. Um, just going back to the road menu here. Um, so that one stop sign coming out. Yeah, these ones here with nothing on. That is absolutely fine. So I think most of these will be okay. And then that one we've got sorted. And we sort of left the other ones as they are. That one we've changed. That one we've changed. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We'll leave the rest of those like it is. Um, are we going to upgrade this to some sort of mass transit as well? Would you like to see trams? I think trams in a snow city would just look wonderful. Yeah, definitely. So mm, let me know in the comments what you reckon about that. Before we finish, we are going to pick the name of the city. Yes, I tantalized you with that earlier. So let me go and check the poll and see which of the two names has been voted up the most. 
And with a rousing 88%, the winner is Antarctica. I think that is just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to just put that like that. So if you don't know, it's there. You might not see it. You might spot the spelling mistake. But then those that know, know. So well done to Superior Salmon for that name suggestion. So there are lots and lots of things to look forward to for the next episode. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on more City Skyline content. Tomorrow we'll be back with New Zealand. That's my modded city. And then we'll alternate back again to this city. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.